What's up guys, welcome back to this new video. This is ready from topnotch-programmer.com and today I'll show you guys how to install any of my bots that I share on my YouTube channel in a VPS or on a virtual private server where you can run these bots 24 seven without leaving your computer turned on. I know you are very interested about this because you don't want to leave your computer turned on all the day because it can maybe overheat and maybe damage. So today I decided to show you this and also we are going to get a VPS for absolutely for free. You don't have to pay any money for it without losing any more time let's get started with this video but first make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one and let's get started okay guys the first thing we are going to do is to get a virtual private server or a vps for free from google the weird part comes here because to get a vps from google a windows vps we are going to get the 300 dollars credit from uh the trial in a uh, google cloud platform but to get this $300 credit, you have to add your credit card. And this is the part where people get confused and they're going to leave the video. Uh, Google is going to get money from us and yeah, we are, I'm going to leave this video. But no, guys, uh, you just have to add your credit card as a verification. In most of the cases, it doesn't charge you any money for verification, but maybe you are going to, to be charged only on $1 just for verification. They are going to give you back this $1 to, the, to your card. Don't worry about this. Google is never going to charge you automatically only if you tell to google i yeah i want me to charge automatically and then you they are going to charge you but they are never going to charge you without your decision because by default the payments and the billing is manual in google so don't worry about this part and let's get started on the google cloud the first thing you have to do go to google and search for google uh, cloud 300 dollar credit and you can click on the any of the links here but the first one uh, it's an ad but don't worry uh, here is the official website so you have to register on here on the website if you are not registered uh, for the first time you are going to get always a $300 credit free credit to use for any service on um, on Google Cloud. So in this uh, $300 credit, we are going to use to get a Windows VPS so we can use to install these bots. So let's get started. I am already logged in and registered for this, but and, and I will change my account to the account that I am already registered. And uh, for now, it's showing me go to console, which is good. But for you, it will show you that you have to put some information, then you have to put your credit card, then you'll be redirected on this page. After doing that, uh, go, click on go to console, and this will redirect you in the dashboard of Google Cloud Platform. And here, you have to make sure you have a new project here. Just cl uh, click on this drop down and create a new project. For now, I have a project here, but I will create another one. So I will click on new project, then I will call this uh, tutorial just for example, and then click on create. Then it, as you can see here, it is loading, which means that is good and is creating our project. Now click on select project. Then the second thing you have to do first, you have to go to billing. And here on billing, it will show you that you have to enable billing. Just click on enable, it will uh, just going to warn you that after that uh, you can also if you enable billing, you can also get give money to Google manually to 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 pay for any of your products on Google. But don't worry about this; they are, they are not going to pay uh, to charge you automatically. And here you can also see the credits you can you have available to use. For now, I have two hundred and ninety nine dollars, which is good. I can and I can get any of the the VPS or virtual machines. So now let's get uh, started and create a virtual machine. Just go to the dashboard again and you have to go to computer engine. In this uh, uh, menu, you have to go up VM uh, instances or via uh, virtual machine instances. And here we have to create a new virtual machine and uh, we will use the Windows VPS for that. But first you have to enable this compute engine API. So just click on enable 
Okay guys, now it is enabled and it took me about one or two minutes to enable this and now we are good and we, if you also get a notification here, you are good. And now you have to go to Marketplace and uh, first we have to go click on Google Cloud Platform Dashboard and then scroll down and here we have Marketplace. Here we are going to search for a Windows VPS that we want. So just search for Windows and press enter then if you scroll down a little bit, you'll find Windows Server 2016 and 2019. You can choose any of them you want. For now, we'll go with Windows Server 2019. Just click on that and click on Launch. Then it will redirect you here where you can create a new virtual machine. So here is the name. You can call it anything you want, but I will leave this like as default. And below, you'll choose how much how much memory you want and uh, how much how many CPUs you want for this virtual machine. And for now, I'll leave just uh, two CPUs and uh, two gigabyte, uh, four gigabyte of RAM because this is good and it runs smoothly with the Windows. And it also is, it is also good for the bots that we are going to install on it. So just scroll down and uh, we have everything okay, I think. And then you just click on create. Then we will wait for this because Google Cloud Platform is now creating our VPS or virtual machine with Windows installed, pre-installed on it. But to connect to this window, we, we can use uh, the RDP. It, RDP is a program that is installed by default in our computer. So just click on start and search for RDP. And this is a program. But uh, if you are not in a Windows 10 Pro version, you can install it RDP from the, the Microsoft Store. So just go to Microsoft Store and search for uh, RDP. And this is the app, Microsoft Remote Desktop. So just go ahead and install this one. But for now, if you, uh, that I am in Windows 10 Pro, I'm going to use uh, the default RDP for computer. So now that we have our uh, virtual machine created, I can click on connect here in the connect section. So ju just click on this drop down. And first we have to set the Windows password. So click on set Windows password. And here you can choose a username. For now, I'll choose just ready. And click on set. Then it will ask you for a password you want. Okay, they will give you a password by default and uh, you can copy it. So just click on copy and click on close. Then uh, click on RDP to connect. Just click on RDP and then click on download the RDP file. So click on download and then it will be downloaded and all you have to do now is just click on that. So click, click on connect. Now it's connecting to the virtual uh, server and it, it will open us the Windows RDP on there. Okay, it failed for now because I, I still need to wait for some more time because it, 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 it showed me that the virtual machine is created but actually in reality it's not created yet because it needs some time to set up the Windows uh, VPS and to set a Windows uh, operating system. So now I'll give you it to more minutes, like one or two minutes and I will try again. Now I got connected after one minute and it is asking me for the password. But the first thing you have to do is just click on more choice and use a different account. Then put the username you choose in, uh, in a, while creating the virtual machine. So while setting the password, so just put the username and here paste the password we just copied. Uh, I will click on the remember me and press on OK. Then it is connecting, you have to uh, click on yes. And now it's connecting to the server. As you can see, now we are being connected. Okay guys, now we are in a VPS or on a virtual machine computer. And now all we have to do is just first thing we have to install Google Chrome. You can click on yes for this and I will leave this sometimes to set up the things and uh, optimize by itself so we don't get any error later. We can close this window. We can also close this service manager. So just click on close and then we can refresh. And first to install Google, we have to go to Internet Explorer and 
it is it looks like a bit slow but you can also add more cpus and more megabyte of rams uh, while creating the virtual machine and first thing you have to do is close this and go to settings because it doesn't allow us by default to download things so just go to settings go to security so now we can go to google.com first to download the Chrome browser you should close this because it's things that like we we are just suspicious but don't worry just now just search for Google uh, Chrome and press enter close this all the time then go to here download close this here on Trusted side you have sites you have to add a new site so just uh, click on sites and uh, add Google so add this add and close then apply apply again and then refresh this page and press ok close 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 every time it opens and now press on download then it will show you below to download so click on save close this all the time I know it's kind of annoying but we don't have to do anything without and now it's downloaded and click on run then this will install the setup of the Google Chrome because we need it for everything for to run the bus to download also Python we have to also download Python on here but don't worry because we, this will be downloaded very fast because on this, this VPS the internet speed is very 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 fast so don't worry about that as you can see it's downloaded and now it will install Okay guys, I got Google Chrome downloaded now and the second thing we have to download is Python because we need it for the bots. So here on Google, I will search for uh, download Python and press enter. Then first link is this and press download Python 3.9.6. Then here below it's downloaded and just click on open and here you have to take attention because we have to add this to path so check this box add python 3.9 to path okay guys now we got python installed in our virtual machine we can cl click on close and to verify if we got it installed just uh, press start button and search for cmd press enter then here you just type python and now we got the version of Python which means it's good and we can continue. Now the other thing we have to do is to install the bot or to download the bot first on this uh, virtual machine. So I'll get back to my actual computer and here I have virtual machine and uh, I have uploaded one of my bots here on this link here and, and I can copy it then I will go to my virtual machine and I will paste it here on Google to download it. So I'll just, just paste it and now that this will redirect me on this page and I will click on download okay now I got this bot downloaded if I go to downloads here are downloads I have the IGDM bot here this is a bot is one of the my premium bots that you can find on my website so if you are interested just go ahead on my website and purchase it but here I have for now I'll move this in a desktop so here I have the desktop I'll move it and if I minimize this and close this all here I have the bot so now what I have to do is just to install the requirements first so just double click on this install requirements and this will install everything we need for this bot and uh, like I said before you can find this bot on my website if you're interested it's just a uh, Instagram DM bot for tags so just put the list of the tags and then it is going to send messages to the certain people that use that hashtag on their post and now I, I will start the bot so just double click on IG bot and here I have the bot and this is actually on my server and I'm not is not in my uh, actual computer so here I'll just start the bot I can do anything I can go to settings put my message list like hello uh, hi and you put a huge uh, um, list then I can put my hashtags here save the settings and then I can start the, the messaging or I can add accounts and do anything 
and you can leave this running 24-7 without doing anything, without opening uh, at any time. All you have to do is just to close this window, just click on close, and then it is closed. And But the actual server is running in the computer, in the cloud. And if you want to open it back, for, just go to downloads where we downloaded the RDP from the cloud and double click on it. Then click on connect and it will connect again. Click on yes. Then Okay, as you can see, now we have the same as we left before. This will run 24-7. You can also do anything else here. You can run a stream or you can do run any of other bots. You can run a script if you want. It's not a problem. You can do anything on here. So guys, this was the video for today. I hope you like it. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel again. And let me know what videos you want uh, next. And also let me know if you want development or programming tutorials. I can do also tutorials about building web application websites or mobile apps with uh, JS or with JavaScript or Node.js or React or React Native or anything you want. So I can do any video for them. Please let me know in the comments below and see you in next videos. Peace.